Doesn't this firework just look cool in general? Now there's actually two fireworks in this lineup that you probably can't even see. Not sure what's going on over there. Oh yeah. Woo! Look at that thing, raining down. Look at this guy. What's going on guys, it's Cody B Pyrotechnics and welcome back to the channel. As you can see, we have a huge variety of fireworks today, all from Flashing Fireworks brand. Now I've actually had these fireworks since before the 4th of July of this year, but I have not had a chance to light them off and I'm really looking forward to it because we not only have fountains, 200 gram cakes and 500 gram, but we also have two of the best canister shell kits that this brand has to offer. And we have these Comet canister shells, which as you know, we've been incorporating in our fireworks shows lately. So Flashing Fireworks brand is local to Nebraska and all of these fireworks can be purchased at Wild Willie's Fireworks. It's a retail store located in Nebraska and they do have a website that will show you guys all the products they have to offer. Now I don't know that you can order online, but you may be able to order online for store pickup. And so if you like anything that you see in today's video, you can certainly head on over to their website. I will include a link in the description. But this brand is something that I've been using on the channel in various different videos for the past five years. And so I hope you guys enjoy the lineup that we have for you today. So I wanna give you guys a look at what we're gonna be shooting off tonight. Starting with this 200 gram cake here, this is called Barking Spiders, and this is a 16 shot. Now. Barking spiders, not sure if they exist. Honestly, I don't want to know. So please, if they do exist, do not comment and tell me that they do. This next one here is another 16 shot, 200 gram cake called Snake Eyes. Graphic looks pretty cool. I don't know if they list the performances on here. Let's see if I can find it. So the performance here says brocade crown tail to brocade crown with red strobe, brocade crown with green strobe, brocade crown with blue star, and brocade crown with crackling. So tons of brocades in this bad boy. Moving on, we've got kind of an interesting looking fountain here called Diamond Dust. And the performance is here on the side, and so I'm gonna read that to you real quick. It says, red and yellow with white strobe, blue with silver willow, red, blue, and yellow with silver cracker. Now it does say cracker, it does not say crackle. So I don't know if there's like a weird firecracker type thing in this. And also it says willow. How are they going to do a willow in a fountain? I guess we're gonna find out. And then we got this little canister shell kit here. Now you get six of them, but these are not your typical canister shells like you're seeing over here. These ones do not go up in the air and create a star break like you would normally think of when you think of canister shells. These just shoot one star up into the air at a time. This one here is actually a really funny and clever label design. It is a 500 gram cake, so our first 500 gram of the night. It's 12 shots and it's called Dragon Tail. Now it's a little bit of a play on words, so I'm gonna bring this one up closer to show you. So take a look at this, dragon tail. And we have a dragon whose dragon is tail on the ground. It's pretty funny. Now the performance on this firework goes like this. Fantastic Nishiki Willow with multi-neon peonies and brocade crown tails. I love the Nishiki effects, so I have high hopes for this one. And one thing you guys will notice on all of these fireworks is there is a QR code, but we don't care about that because we are going to be demoing every single one of these tonight when it gets dark. Now there's actually two fireworks in this lineup that you probably can't even see, and it's these two that are hiding behind the ones in front of it. This one is called Demon Stinger. Absolutely love the graphic on here. It's a 25 shot, 500 gram cake, and the performance is as follows. Brilliant, loud, long-hanging Nishiki Willow with multicolor strobes. Now the next hidden firework I'm gonna call it is a 25 shot 500 gram cake and this one, holy cow, does it have some weight to it. Now this is called Military Grade. Which Cody is not. Sorry about that noise off in the distance. I think we got some flies out here. We got like a fly problem. But uh, Military Grade. <laughs> I can't even I can't even throw shots without laughing. And the performance on this one is right here above the warning label. It says color glitter bouquet to color dahlia and color glitter. Sounds like a lot of fun color stuff going on in this one. Now this next one here, I actually already took the top off on. It's called Minor 49er and it's a 10 shot 500 gram cake. And I think the last three shots in this cake go at an angle, we're gonna find out. So now we're gonna talk about this radioactive meltdown, which I think might be the reason why you clicked on this video. Doesn't this firework just look cool in general? Now there are such a thing as radioactive rockets. I love them, but this is actually a fountain, but it's a huge fountain. So I don't know what it's gonna do or if it fires multiple fountain sequences at once. Either way, I can't wait to shoot this off. And as you guys know, I'm a huge fan of firework fountains. Um, I grew up with them and it's something that I never knew I would love until I was older. And now I feel like I can truly appreciate these things. 
Now the last 500 gram cake in the lineup is called Straight Jacket and it's 23 shots. That's kind of an unusual shot count. So I'm wondering if there's like three larger tubes in this that I have like some sort of significance at the end for the finale. But the performance here, it says red, white, and blue. So it is a patriotic red, white, and blue cake. Will shine bright through dark skies with patriotic red glittering mines to blue palm with red strobes and silver lace. This sounds like something right up my alley. And last but not least, we've got these two kits of canister shells, each containing 24 different shells. And what we're gonna do with these is actually load them up into these mortar racks behind the camera. So we'll show you those real quick. Now, these are the mortar racks that we're gonna be using. And as you can see, I've got some premium Canon Hobby Fuse right there. That's the green stuff that burns at about 20 to 23 seconds a foot. And some quick fuse to connect the rows because you see there's some space here. Now I've got the HDPE tubes down here some fiberglass, and all sorts of different ways to design these racks. Like as you can see, we've got these HDPE tubes just drilled right to the base, and the fiberglass ones are more secure in this little divot here, as you can see the little wood shims that go in between each tube. So somehow we're gonna fuse all of these together with green hobby fuse and enjoy these shells one at a time. So funny story, when I set up these fireworks on this table, um, and if there's a little bit of wind at all, it'll kind of knock them over, and that's exactly what happened with this box. So as you can see, the bottom is a little tore up, but these are the ultra neon canister shells by Flashing Fireworks. Of course, you get 24 of them, all different effects labeled one through 24. And then over here, we've got the high velocity Super 7 canister shells. Now, these ones I actually did not get from Wild Willies in Nebraska. I picked these up in South Dakota at Old Glory Fireworks. You guys may remember the video where I actually purchased these shells, but if you haven't seen it, I will link it in the description. Now, as you guys can see, the sun is going down, so all I have to do now is get all of these fireworks set up and get the canister shells loaded into the mortar racks behind me, and we will get back to you at shoot time. So right now, Theron and Garrison are currently getting all of these fused up for me. And I really appreciate them doing that because behind me, there is another video that we have not released yet. And I was working on that while they were doing this. Garrison is just the tape master over here. Look at this guy. All right, guys, well, take a look at this. I love the way that little lantern is lighting up all of these tubes. And you even get those shots right through the tubes themselves in the back. It looks super cool. Um, I could not have done this without Garrison and Theron's help. And you guys should look forward to seeing more videos with them in the future. But we do have both of these canister shell kits fused up and ready to go. You can see here with the gap, we connected that with quick fuse. And I use zip ties here against some green visco with this weird gloss on it. So this will actually be kind of a test. If the quick fuse does not light this green visco, then I would definitely not recommend connecting quick fuse and green visco with that weird clear gloss on it. I know it's hard to see on film, but trust me, it's there. But anyway, guys, all the canister shells are set up and the only thing left to do is set up all the cakes and the fountains. But these were, again, the high velocity Super 7 shells against the ultra neon canister shells, both by flashing fireworks. So we finally have everything set up here in a row, 200 gram cakes, comet shells, and fountains. I think we're gonna start with the fountains and then do the comet shells. Let's go ahead and see diamond dust.
right, so you could clearly see what they were trying to go for there with that willow effect on that one. And it was really cool. I love how they did three of them there at the end. So this next one here is probably the coolest looking firework we have in the whole bunch. This is Radioactive Meltdown 90 Second Fountain. Let's see what it does. Now this one here has a ton of different fountains in it. So we'll see how it performs. I think this is gonna go really crazy at the end. Oh boy. Oh wow. Those actually had some height to them. Whoa. It's almost like a lava a little bit bigger than this thing. Well, look at that. Nice. 10 out of 10 on those fountains. I just wish that this one would have finished with like an entire row of six or five or whatever. And it looks like it finished with three of them. And now we're gonna move on to the stuff that goes up in the air, starting with these six Comet canister shells. So Garrison and Theron both just got all of these shells prepped and ready to go. Now, obviously we're gonna move those before we start lighting them, but these are Comet shells. So don't be expecting breaks here. All right, here goes the first one. Whoa, so that was like a mine shell almost. But they say comet, so let's see another one. Whoa, that's a comet. That thing went way up there. And another one. Oh yeah, they're comets. That first one I think was a mine shell. Here goes another one. Yeah, it's either like a split comet or a mine, some of them. Next one. Nice silver and green. And here goes the last shell. Comets, anyway. That was a beautiful gold. Look at that thing, raining down. Nice. Well, those were the Comet canister shells by Flashing Fireworks, and now we're gonna move on to the 200 gram cakes. All right, we're gonna go ahead and check out the Barking Spiders. This is the stuff of nightmares, guys. Do these things actually exist? I don't want to know. Whoa. And there's some smoke. Is that what a barking spider sounds like? This next one here is called snake eyes and hopefully these king cobra snakes eat these things called barking spiders. Let's see it in action. Oh yeah. For a two hundo, this is really good. Very impressed with that one. So now we're moving on to the 500 gram cakes and we're gonna start with the smallest one in the group, 12 shots, dragon tail. Oh wow, it's got like a mine. Shoot, I should have recorded this in one angle. <laughs> trying to get both for you, there you go. Nice. 
definitely a 500 gram. So this is another 500 gram cake, 25 shots, military grade. This is next up. And because of that last one, we're gonna shoot this one in wide angle. There we go. All right, I'm gonna to try to get way further back on these next few. Now let's see this Demon Stinger 25 shots. Hopefully this is far back enough. We're about to find out. In times one, probably not, but. I don't know. So this has a mine effect too. Problem is the wind's coming right to me. That was a huge break. Nice. Well, that one was definitely awesome. Now let's see straight jacket, 23 shots. Ooh, that's pretty. Love it. Of that rapid fire at the end. Ladies and gentlemen, last but definitely not least for these 500 and 200 gram cakes, we have got the minor 49er before we go into the big boy canister shells. This is a 10 shot cake. Ooh, big breaks. Those gotta be canister shells in there. Wow. Guys, I'm like 100 feet away too, look at this. Oh yeah. Woo! I think I missed that third break. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the 500, 200 gram and these Comet shells, but now we are moving on to the big boy lineup of fireworks over here. This is both of the 24 shell kits and they're fused up. They should go one at a time. Just take a look at this. I wanna show it one more time. This is gonna be nuts. So we're gonna go ahead and start with those ultra neons and then go into the super sevens. Well guys, I hope I'm far enough away. We're about to find out. Here goes 24 of the neon shells. Oh yeah, look at that. Those things go so much higher than the cakes. Nice blue, nice blue again. Definitely some neon effects. They're really loud. Ooh, that's a nice white strobe.
And the stars go quick. Okay, so 10 out of 10 on loudness, but the effects don't last that long, and I think that's where these seven inch canister shells are gonna stand out. So as you can see, we didn't have a single misfire on the neon shells here, but now we're moving on to some big boy seven inch canister shells. These are the Super 7 High Velocity. Not sure what's going on over there. That's interesting. So some of these might be double break, not 100% sure, but either way, I think these are gonna be a little bit better. Oh yeah. Wind's picking up. Now that is a classic canister shell break. Well, it looks like Garrison and Theron's tape work held up to the test. We successfully fired all 24 of the high velocity Super 7 canister shells. And that concludes today's video. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. We'll see you next time.